Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's video. Hope you're well. On this channel we like a nice vintage computer and this is a BBC Micro Model B. Now about a year ago I'd done a video on replacing the power supply, I showed you what caps went wrong and what have you. And so far this has been absolutely flawless with the new power supply. So it's time to upgrade it again with some uh, modern parts. So those of you who are old enough remember these things. And this is a floppy disk for all those playing along at home. Floppy disk drive and there's a floppy disk. So I'm going to upgrade it with modern solutions that I've brought from a company called Retro Clinic. So we've got ourselves, this is a Retro Clinic customised black GoTek USB floppy drive emulator. So it emulates the old floppy drives there. It'll take uh, apparently an SSD, none of this uh, solid state rubbish, that's a single solid disc, a DSD, double solid disc and an ADFS. Uh, Acorn disk filing system images, so I can transfer files between an emulator, a main computer and the BBC. Also got a Raspberry Pi 0W and that's giving us a 6502 processor upgrade. So I can play the Elite version now, or the Executive version of Elite, so I can play in colour now. So we're going to plug these in and see if they work. Let's take a closer look. Right, so in the box we've got a USB memory stick, we've got the actual floppy drive emulator itself and there's a little screen there that tells you what disk image you've got you can rotate around, select your disk image there click it and it inserts a disk and you put your USB stick in there and this connects to the disk drive port on the Beeb and then we have the 5 volt power connection, there we are and that plugs in underneath also got a Raspberry Pi Zero and that plugs into the tube socket and that gives it um, an extra processor, 6502 apparently I can run CPM and stuff on this machine be quite interesting to see what I can do with this machine now rather than just play games so what I'll do now, I want to connect all these cables up into the beep and then uh, fire up and we'll see what happens ok so the Raspberry Pi is connected to the tube socket and there's the old Raspberry Pi there, Raspberry Pi 0W I've got the SPI ROM, that was the original one I had in there, loads of games on that SD card. And the floppy emulator is connected to the disk drive port. And there's the 5 volt power. And I've gone and inserted the USB stick. And apparently it does all of this as well. So you've got a second processor, 700 megs native ARM CPU, uh, 8286 for DOS, which I should be playing with. Let's see what actually this thing can actually do. Seems like I can do a hell of a lot. Okay, on the screen there we have Elite and it says disk 028 of 79, so 79 disk images, SSD. So if we rotate the dial here, you can then scroll through. So DC utils and this sort of stuff go through. And if I want to insert Elite as a disk, I just press the button there and you'll see it says TOO.O, means it's inserted. If I push the button again, it says ejected, lovely. So games one. But I want to insert elite. I've got no real way of capturing the screen because I've got no capture software at the moment, so I have to just point the camera at the screen. So it says on the screen there, Acorn Tube 6502 64K Smart SPI Basic. So if I do a shift D break. It's going to load up the image that we've just inserted, so the, the Elite Disk. And I'm going to select the first one there. So Model B Elite. Sorry, this version is not compatible with the second processor. Turn off your tube and press Shift Break. So I'm going to do Control D Break. So let's turn off the tube. Star FX 151,230,14. And that brings it off. Now I can do a Shift D Break. And select the first version of Elite, which is how we used to play it back in the day. You can hear the drive clicking away, emulating the old floppy disks, noises, and you get load new commander. You see that the ship spinning around, a bit flickery, a bit jerky, but you can play the game. Now I'm going to do a control D break, which brings us back to the main screen. Let's enable the tube, Star FX 151. 230, 3 and do a control D break 
you'll see you've got the tube 6502. Now do a shift D brake. And we're going to select the, the one there, the Elite second processor version, executive version. We'll see this is supposed to be a lot more different now. Oh, we've got colour for starters. Oh, a lot more colour. Okay. Present. Ah, winner winner chicken dinner, look at that! Elite. It's a little flickering though, but look at the old uh, graphics, nice modern day rubbish. The executive version. There we go, so it's actually working. And apparently I can do different things with the FX commands. So star FX, 151230,8 will give me 286 compatibility for DOS. Let's do that now actually. Control D break. So star FX 151,230,8. There we go, look at that, it's tube 80286. So it's now emulating the 286 processor on this BBC Micro. So I have a lot of fun with this, playing with CPM and all sorts. I'd like to say thank you for watching this video and for next week's video I've been out and done some shopping so hopefully in the week I can, I can get a chance to put the video together and you'll see what I've been up to. Thank you for watching this video, thanks for subscribing, I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73.